back with more good work. Now, through eight seasons of her hit show, our next guest has transformed love lives and her looks. Please welcome millionaire matchmaker, Patty Stanger. Hi. Hi, hi guys. Fabulous. How are you doing? Okay, Patty, we ask everybody this. What have you had done? Okay, starting with my boobs. I've had them done twice. Really? As you know, they grow back. Yes. Why do they grow back? <laughs> I can't stand. Oh, I you had a reduction? I had a reduction and a lift. Why did you have them reduced? I was huge. Wearing bras at 11, double D, they kind of grew to an F. At what age were you when you had the first um, reduction? I think it was about four or five years ago. The first job was not a good job. The second doctor was amazing, and uh, he just had the good eye. And he just said, listen, we're going to fix the, the way the, the nipples are. It's all about the nipples, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. It's all about the nipples, nipple right? Position. And I had a nice little lift. They're perky. They're just large. Oh, wow. Okay, so what else have you had done? My eyes. I had tosis. So one eye was smaller than the other, and they weren't matching up. My symmetry was off, mm -hmm. which yeah. is all about symmetry. And so I wanted a facelift, and he talked me into just getting my eyes. Right. Patty, you lost a lot of weight, right? Yes. How much weight did you lose? Almost 30 pounds. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Typically, when you lose a lot of weight, the neck mm -hmm. loosens up. I haven't done less. that. And I want that. I'm going to come to you for Well, that. no, I'm just saying it looks really good. Thank you. Um, I've done um, lasers. Yeah. You know, thermage. Thermage can heat the yeah. area up and cause contraction of the skin. Radio frequencies can do that, like Althera. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's mm -hmm. good. It worked very nicely. Yes, I've done that. I, I'm up on the latest lasers. I like hearing yeah. about that because it's less invasive. Yeah, because I've heard you say that you feel that plastic surgery has saved your life. Saved my love life. Oh, okay. Really? Yeah. Because I feel, look, we're looking really good. The, the, the older we get, women are taking care of themselves. The men need to join the party. You know? <laughs> I, I really don't understand. You know, gay men keep up with it. But the straight men think they can have wrinkles down to their ankles and we're going to still want them. We're only going to date younger men if that keeps happening. <laughs> <laughs> right. What about men with facelifts? Is that a turnoff for some no. your women? No. Didn't Tom Cruise do that a long time ago? I well, thought he changed a lot in his face, and I actually thought it settled really nicely. Well, you know, it works really well on mm -hmm. some people, and some people it's a turnoff, though. If you get a bad facelift, of course yeah. it's a turnoff, but if you go to a really good doctor, it can change your life. Yeah. And you have a lot of, of women who come through your office, of course, looking for Mr. Right. Mm -hmm. What is the biggest plastic surgery mistake that they make, in your um, opinion? Getting boobs too soon until the body assesses itself. Like I do 18 and over, mm -hmm. and I like them to get it at 22 or 24. Am I right on that? Absolutely right okay. on. So do any of your millionaires specify natural only? Yes, um, as well as fake only. And really? so most of my celebrities want fake. No. Well, they want them to be up to here till 90. Yeah. Now, Dr. Debro and I were talking uh, before the show, and we think your celebrity lookalike is Katy Perry. What do you think? Oh, yeah. my God. Totally. Okay. Isn't that wild? That's totally. like, so I call her, you know, this is my pr my prom baby. Yeah. You know, like, you know, <laughs> yes. This is my daughter from 100 years ago. Right, my long lost didn't... daughter. You do. You look just Thank like you. her. Thank no, you. you. Thank you. you. Thank you. Could... Now, my crack research team uncovered a little fact about you, and I okay. want to know if it's true or not. Okay. Were you once a lesbian? Oh, my God. Yes, in my 20s. Uh, you were a, in your 20s, you were a lesbian. For a year. So that was a long time ago. Do you ever get a, a hankering or a taste for a little no. little something? I, I, I fast forward right through the lesbian porn. Mm -hmm. Really? I need to see the big schlong. Oh, okay. <laughs> well, there you go. Like <laughs> so uh, let me get this straight. So you kissed a girl and you liked it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Patty, you're not the only celebrity to admit to cosmetic procedures, which leads us to a game I like to call Knife Styles of the Rich and Famous. Yes. Now, which procedures have these celebrities admitted to? First up, Kaylee Cuoco. Has she admitted to a nose job or a boob job? Ooh, this is tough. Um, boob job. All right, the answer is boob job. That's right. Her twins just celebrated their 11th birthday. Wow, they grow so fast. <laughs> Amazing. Next up, Kelly Ripa. Has she had Botox in her armpits, to stop the sweating, of course, or filler in her ears to tighten her lobes? Ooh, this is a tough one. Botox? The answer is Botox in her armpit. That's right. Does it, that work? It does. It's called hyperhidrosis, which means you have excess activity in the acrid, the sweat glands. You use a whole bottle of Botox in each armpit, and it lasts about a year. It's a very, year? It's oh very effective. Oh, my yeah. God. I'm spitzing just yeah. thinking about it. Oh, my God. <laughs> and finally, 
brilliant actor, Andy Garcia. Did he have a hair transplant or an underdeveloped twin surgically removed Ooh. from his shoulder? Um, twin. You're right. Seriously? He had a conjoined twin removed as an infant. Andy says he has no memory of it at all, but that image will be burned in my memory forever. Oh my God. <laughs> I took a guess on that. I know, right? Well, Patty, there's one thing I hope you never get fixed. It's your big, gorgeous mouth. Oh, I love you. I, I love, love you guys. You. You love you so Thank you so much for being on Good Work. We'll be right back. back. Next, Kim, Iggy, and Christina. Celebrity booties are bigger than ever. How you can pump up your backside. And later, fresh from Botch, it's bodybuilder Lauren Powers loving her new boo. Look to bro, no bra. <laughs> and somebody called Nicki Minaj. There's an anaconda on the loose, and you won't believe why. Drugs 